the game. You're like, my line. This is tricky. Get off my line. This is tricky. This is tricky. Hey, Tyler, you say Angela Simmons like she say what all the time? Hey, and every time I see a picture of Angela Simmons, it's always like she's saying, huh? Younger for sure, for sure, for sure. I'm yeah, not so relating to what you're saying now, but I, I got you though. And I, I appreciate, <laughs> you, appreciate you picking you up on exactly what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's more important, a woman that prays for you or suck your dick? The latter. Mm. Huh. Sure. What's the latter? For real. The latter. The latter. Because the prayers <laughs> might not get through. <laughs> the the prayers, the prayers might not, not get through. No, I'm saying. The prayers might not get through. They might not get answered, but at least mine got answered. Come on, man. I thought you meant like this. He's writing with latter bit. Latter day Saints? L A T T. I ain't never seen a ladder. Yeah, well, what, well, it depends on what ladder it is now. Yeah. That's a great Can question. I'm about to ask that one for the forfeit. Yeah, wait. Ah, we your dirty church bitch. This is the dirty bitch. <laughs> I thought I was getting the real. Your church, church bullshit. Bull bull ain't no way you finna ask. The name term is the gob gob or not the gob. Is oral, oral <laughs> sex or a uh, woman get you a woman that give head or what'd you say? How was it go? Pray for you. Pray for you. Yeah. Or pray for AK. Which one is more important? A woman that one prays? That's what I wanted to know. Or a woman that <laughs> when you ask her what that mouth do. <laughs> well, well, we are not speaking of prayer. What's her response? Is she praying? No. <laughs> or does she have you laying? <laughs> and you know you can do both at the same time if you, you think can. about it. You can you do can. both. You can pray. That you sounds hilarious. Nah, don't do that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a different <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> 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 Did you lose it? Bitch, you <laughs> prospering. <laughs> I went for it. It's prospering. Oh, I went for it. Prosperous throat. You are choking. Man. I'm not winning. Speaking. It is. Congratulations, bro. Congratulations, bro, on, on, the, on the new life, man. You Appreciate it. Being oh, you just had a job? Yes, yeah, so oh, I gotta go. You know, hey, I got, man. I got the midnight shift. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. Yeah, oh, you yeah, got a yeah, new baby. New, Seven new. and a half months. Okay. Oh, man. oh yeah, you yeah. really ain't supposed to be outside yeah. with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, he, and he in that what they call a regression. So now he waking up like every two hours. Okay. You know, we got him down like three times a night. Mm. Now we just gotta just bring him to bed. Yeah, you know what, I'm saying? what y'all doing? What y'all? He wanna know yeah. what y'all doing? <laughs> yeah, we just yeah. outside. They married. Oh, like, you ain't rubbing no uh, night boots on it though. All right, bro. He's like, you ain't gave him no look at you. Yeah, yeah. Want no, 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 no. We hit him with the we hit him with 1738. So no, first part of the team. That worked. No, I'm dead. You probably gone. No, I know they be doing Listen, yeah, yeah, that's 1738. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him right. He said that real cool after that. Yeah, yeah, that was up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We followed up with some Rocky Bears. I just started trying stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to baby drink like Rocky Bears. Baby, give me a good little scoop. My wife said, my not too much, not too much. I'm not too much. We're going to shut it down. Listen. For sure. That's hilarious. You gotta get that communion in the Maryland. Ain't nothing grapes. Ain't nothing grapes. So did you go to, uh, damn, what, not, I was about to say Palmer, so did you go to Monasa? Help me out. No, bro. I went to Killer Grove. Cedar oh. Grove? Killer Grove. Before that Cedar Grove. I'm not from here, bro. Before that Cedar Grove. I'm trying to see it. We off Miller Road. 
You feel me? Yeah. Oh, Covington. Yeah. You feel right, me? Boom. That's Miller Grove. Nah, Miller I, know, Grove. I know. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Feel I used to have a Nola when I first moved out. All right. Yeah. 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 Nigga, what's yeah. happening? Nola boy. What's happening? Nigga, ain't for down the road in this motherfucker, huh? <laughs> yeah, I say Winding Glen Road, huh? I got you. Uh, <laughs> he was a little bit younger than us then. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Miller Grove was, that's a... In my mind, that was like a nice area. That's Nigerian. a newer school. That's a newer, newer high school. Oh, newer, in my mind, but I feel like it was school. terrible. Shout out to Mr. Simpson, bro. We had a fight every day in the comments. Every day. That's when beat that hoe. That was the chance. Mm. And yeah. you just want to make sure you wasn't that hoe. Don't beat that hoe. Because you was going to hear that every day. You feel oh, me? Yeah. Because yeah, where you was at? Chapel Hill? I was at Southwest. Okay. Got in it. Open Camp. Got it. Got it. Any word to answer? <laughs> <laughs> he was at Oprah from the time uh, Franchise Boys got hot. I got it. I see Tall T's go short. That ain't the style no more. Right. Boy, boy. Uh, you gonna raise the level up. Right. He did a dime at uh, Oprah Campus. <laughs> <laughs> so he did 10 years at Oprah Campus, B. Yeah. Yeah. So I went to Stevenson after that. But okay. but if they wouldn't have built Stevenson, I probably would have had to go to Southwest. Even though read it, read it. Are you talking about Miller Grove Middle School? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Oh, no, I don't think you're talking about Miller Grove High School. That's why I said no, that because no, that was no, 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 no. that's new. That that no, wasn't. That that ain't, yeah, yeah, that wasn't even. That wasn't even no. Wasn't even no. a thing. But yeah. I don't even know if they ever called that Killer Grove. Killer Grove was Killer Grove. Yeah, okay. that's what it was. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. all right, so so you didn't go to school to to preach or just uh, the school I went, of life. I, I went to. Uh, well, I got my master's. Okay. In um, religious studies. In 2016. Gotcha. So I went from 2012 to 2016 right. at Beulah. But I went to FAM for undergraduate. Okay. So okay. I was, that when I started in the radio before I got on high in the streets and all of that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I was just, FAM was a beast, bro. Yeah. How I, was that though, I like going it. from it amazing. the spiritual to the secular? You know what I'm saying? Like, well, it was no switch for me. I mean, you know, you know, I mean, at New Birth, let's see, let's see who came through New Birth. NDRE, mm-hmm. Jagged Edge, mm-hmm. um, Montel Jordan, mm-hmm. Usher, mm-hmm. Uh, Left Eye, you know what I'm saying? Then my brother, mm-hmm. my brother was part of 50 Niggas down there in Georgia <laughs> Southern. Uh, if you know, you know. You right. feel what I'm saying? So I was like the mascot from, from my. It's like how Atlanta got 100 black men. Oh, okay. They yeah, got yeah, 50 niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the antithesis to that. Right. Yeah. Yes. You feel me? The 50 niggas. You feel me? The 50 niggas. You feel me? So. Uh, you know, me and my look, me and my bro, uh, Dave, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Super Dave. You know, we was like the mascots for them. They was eight, nine, ten years old than us, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we just grew up around them, you know what I'm saying? Anything they did, we did. And they partners was our partners, you know what I'm saying? And so it was never, it was never no switch. It was just normal, right. you know what I'm saying? That was just life. And so, you know, Cal took me underneath his wing. I'm in the studio with Cal, you know, meeting everybody. Uh, so you was there with Cy Howard's Rolling Brothers? Yeah, my partner, yeah. Yeah, That's before, he, we, we were just calling them Prince then. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Prince, shout out to Cy. Uh, and Cow House was crazy. I can't even tell y'all the stories at Cow House. Cow it was, was I'm going to just say this. <laughs> it was no to uptown all the time. Jack, they used to always be uptown on Sunday night. So we called this house the corner. You know what I'm saying? And it's no, no telling what celebrity was going to be over there mm. and what they was going to be doing mm. and what you could do with them. Mm. Uh, Come on, now. Listen. Spill a tea. Listen. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I ain't dropping no names, but just just some fun time. But you know, I mean, that was that. You this know what I'm saying? Fuck, this thing will fuck Vivica Fox. What can I say? You got me. You got me. <laughs> it's coming to Tubi. It's, you know. it's coming to <laughs> Tubi. <laughs> but on some real shit, no, we, need, we need stories like that to normalize what church is. Like I feel like a lot of people are caught up in the spiritual side of it, which is cool, but they they miss the community side of it, mm-hmm. which is the shit that you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Like when you grow up in a, a, a place like that, it ain't all good. Everybody ain't all singing Jesus Monday through Saturday. We are on Sunday, mm-hmm. but Monday through Saturday, niggas. Some other a lot shit of niggas' Bibles be in their car till they get back in that mud. It's Sunday a lot of prayer for real. Like, to be on that Bible, bro. Like, Bible done change colors in the back window. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> you gotta see him before you walk in. Hey. Come on now. Hey. Hey. That's real. I mean, you remember? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta get your car. You fool. remember uh, Snap Fingers? We had the little under the stairs spot. Man, <laughs> yeah, see, little... y'all was the pre- y'all was the no, dirty no, preachers' kids. Our youth trips. The dirty. Our youth trips was when we started. <laughs> I, I, I learned. Uh, 
Smell this. So you uh, quit on the YouTube. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we probably learned that when they had Game of Daddy on that trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't oh, get to this story. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
by the time they got to me, all the daddies were gone. Right? Yeah, yeah. So they started like going out. Finding the trucks. Finding daddies. Here we go again. I'll bring them back. <laughs> To the retreat, man. man what? You and got my daddy was homeless, <laughs> my nigga. No, bro. I remember this, my man. My daddy was stupid, homeless, bro. Like he rolled back with us. Wow. He How do really y'all put like no, no, no adult was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> This I'm saying he got two suitcases. We leaving. Everybody else got suitcases. <laughs> this nigga blending in. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, what, 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 what did dude do that was counting y'all when he came? He said New York City one. <laughs> <laughs> He's like I need another space party. I don't got no beans. I don't got no beans for these niggas. You call everybody, dude, man. Just put your daddy application in, man. You can go whole house. Right and everything. Move to Atlanta. Move to Atlanta, nigga. Free me, man. How did the ad be a mess? What's going on? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, but what did y'all say on hour four when this grown man was sitting by Remo? Y'all didn't say nothing. <laughs> I, I don't remember this part, but hey, right, this was a long yeah. ride on the bus from Detroit. Detroit to Atlanta when you don't know nobody. <laughs> y'all had to sit next to each other all the time. Yeah. Not, no, no, not for no. nothing. The drive didn't seem that long. What we it used did. to do, we would leave at like 11 or midnight at night. Mm, so you were already night. tired. Yeah. By the time yeah. that bus rolled off, so the dude you, don't, you, don't, you, you don't hit the smell. Not a miss. Yeah, but what the girl? You know what I'm talking about. New trip. Yeah, no, facts, Boom. Facts, facts. After that, you wake up, it's nine. Y'all stop at Shoney's. And then you just, you you just shabu your bro. Ain't none of the administrators say, yo, who's up with the chump? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't speak on that. I don't know. Bro, it was, I remember the dad thing, but I don't remember something. Uh, bro, you don't remember bringing like, Chicago back? Like, it was like, get on the bus. He was on the VIP <laughs> bus. Yeah, you was in the bus. Yeah, you was in the bus. It was like get on the bus. He was a coach. <laughs> yeah, he was, oh, yeah, a he was in a whole different bus. He flew back. Y'all didn't even know he flew back. He was like, what's up? He was like, what's up? I was on the bus. Y'all didn't even know the bus. He flew back. He was like, everybody. I heard about it, but I was like, it was me. He was on the bus. I was on the bus. He was on the bus with Deion Sanders and Jack and Edge. I'm trying to shoot. This nigga like, that's when it get foggy because I was up in the sky. He's like, man, did y'all run out of champagne on y'all bus? Oh. Oh, man. So so uh you went um to fam and got your uh your so you gonna skip up this dude that you okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright now you, you know, know, where your daddy at now? Shit. What he did when he got to your house? Oh, my mom. <laughs> oh, talking about the Detroit. No, my mom. Hey, hold on. No, no I ain't gonna try to take you with real daddy. Right. Right. Ah! <laughs> 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 he said, where you going to get out? Shit, my mom. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to check you out, but I know the mom too well. I'm going to do it like that. I know it, bro. Oh, my God. Every time she said that, I'm going to get the same speech. Oh, my God. I need you to pray for Rodney. I need you to pray. I'm like, bro, I was in his He ended up making sounds with his mouth. <laughs> he keep dancing. <laughs> he done drawed his hairline on, done leaked on his clothes. <laughs> he done took a girl to this house that wasn't even his house. <laughs> Told him, oh, oh, he made it everything. Boy, you stupid as fuck. Other girl called while he was taking the other girl. That was crazy. <laughs> I can't keep up. You know too much about this nigga. Yeah, bro. That's man, you say you take these girls to see the matches over there. Uh, <laughs> flexing. No, it's a sandstone the states. Oh yeah, everybody flexed on sandstone. All y'all did this. Everybody, your whole crowd. Y'all was nasty. Y'all, y'all was nasty. 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 Nigga. Look at some big hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't mad at it, dog. Especially when it's you get that cheap day. Yeah. It's a dream trip. But you, the other girl called listening was wild. That was hilarious. Oh, yeah. That shit got that was crazy. My, my phone pocket died. The girl I called that I took. That was singing the wireless. Heard the same spiel. Heard the same spiel. Wow. House by house. She was on the phone like, for real? Uh, this nigga's this still alive. This talking about having a garden with me. Oh, you told me you gonna move my mom in the guest house over there. Put your mama in the guest house. Oh shit. Nah, so alright, so we uh it's something that we bring up and that's spiritual athletics. You know what I mean? So oh, tell please oh, like, bounce God. this thing. Come on, yo. Tell tell him new births team that went that I say we won the state twice. Did he play like, though? That's what we want to Did he play? I gotta be real. Be real, nigga. I thought on everything. I remember you being in Chapel Hill during that time. He don't remember. 
No, no, no. We won two. Nah, he nodded. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we won two championships with uh, I remember Green us. Pastors. I remember us. And Green He wouldn't know y'all team a new birth that he said he told us that he was on. But see, Rod a little older than me, though. So I'm going to give him a pass with that. I'm going to give him that pass. About, about three? In there, yeah. 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 Nah, but you can hoop, though, because I, I don't know if you remember. I used to play with my, my god brother. We used to come up there. Uh, Marcus Hughes used mm-hmm. to come up there and hoop with you all the time. They was like, yeah, that's Bishop's son. I was like, oh, that nigga yeah. hoop. Yeah, he was A1. My offense ain't that good. I got defense. I play like Rodman. Yeah, yeah. I, I was like... <laughs> I like this the nigga you want on your team. Bro. I got this. I got this remote play. I'm afraid of that nigga. Yeah, you got to have more of a team. Any nigga who I play like Rod. Yeah, yeah you like, oh, I'm going all out. Oh, man. I can't oh, listen to that nigga. I want that nigga. I appreciate the co-sign. Yeah, I do not want to play against that nigga. I'm telling you, you don't want that nigga. You guard full court for no reason. Oh, man, with everything. I pull shorts off, but you're in. Get dead locks on cats. Tackle me there. I ain't got the ball, bro. You got your back. I got him. The ball don't hit it. The ball down. But do you remember Remo's play style? I'm struggling. Yeah, he was just a little young. Well, that, that was his play style. Yeah, struggling. Ah, <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm struggling. <laughs> Rob was always funny. <laughs> oh, oh wait, not like that, man. Like, man don't go my God. No, I'm saying that's what you say. Oh, no, 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 basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What he played like? What you remember about this game? That nigga had a lot of players. Let me tell you, that nigga had always, but that nigga had me rolling. Every time we move, we got Every time we shoot, I got it. Go. I was like, ah, you gonna be a nigga. I didn't care about how you hoop. He was the spirit of the team. (laughs) (laughs) He was the glue. Uh, It was was, was, was a lot of ankle injuries, you know what I'm saying? you. Yeah. (laughs) What about the game you went in and went off? Remember you say... Yeah, but somebody got videos games. though. Remember, Brian done had a lot of videos. The Lamar, okay, so Lamar you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, Coach Houston. Mm. We, do, we, do, we got a bounty out on the Remo basketball Yo, team. I go pull us some video. Ooh, oh, pull some it up. Video. We gonna, we gonna put that on Patreon. Yeah, we the real spiritual it. athletics. The oh, behind, man. We gonna do behind the uh, the behind uh, the behind the hoops. Behind the pews. The holy hoops. So so you so with the college. Got your media degree, and I actually got business, and I pimped for the media. I hung out in journalism all the time, mm. but my thing was that you really can't do nothing with that degree. So I just went and got the business degree instead. You okay. know what I'm saying? Such an MBA and all that. Is media like broadcast journalism? It broadcast, mass com, all that stuff. It's a low barrier to entry. You could do. You Think could, about what we're doing right now. Yeah, that's, be, that was my major. I was about to you I, could be I, a comedian. That's a damn show. And I was. <laughs> I was bad. Everything <laughs> over here said Rico was in high school. Me he too. majored in high school. RTF, <laughs> <laughs> radio TV. Radio TV. <laughs> radio TV. <laughs> radio TV. 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 It's not a public speaking requirement for every single course. I don't think this back well, in My public speaking class was the funniest yeah. shit ever. Oh, yeah. It was Fort Valley watching niggas do their speeches. Yeah. Oh, But it was helpful. Though. It was helpful, though, because I remember the first thing they said was if you could come up and make people laugh first, it makes your job a lot easier That's doing true. this thing. And then once I saw that, I was like, damn, well, if you make it keep laughing the whole entire time you're up there, then there you go. They call it the icebreak. Yep. There you go. Icebreak. They ice the whole goddamn thing. Ice machines. Right. <laughs> I, I used to, I took public speaking at some school in college, and my teacher used to be like, "You were prepared, but you did really good." So mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you a seat because you he didn't tell. You didn't do shit. Yeah, like, you, you got it was. Hey, let me tell you something. If you ever felt a that. class about talking, nigga, uh, <laughs> that that professor be fired. Can't talk, bro. You get in front of a lot. Nah, this nigga can though. I'm not talking about talking. Oh yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Oh yeah, yeah, talking class. I'm one of the, I'm one of the best talkers. Yeah, but like, move out the way, professor. Talk about talking. <laughs> 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 you ain't gonna be talking about talking, you know you gotta talk. You ain't gonna be the hand saying cold. Go ahead, you can't eat. Bitch, they can't eat. You 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 can't eat. Twofold. At New Birth, when I was like 12 on the count, you remember Joffrey? Mm-hmm. So I was like, the, the show that was going out to the mm-hmm. world, the broadcast, I was on, you know, um, tripod, over the shoulder, moving around, whoop, whoop, mm-hmm. um, with the camera in. 
And uh, from there, at Stevenson, they started the little closed circuit in-house okay. TV. So I signed up my junior year. I was the first sports broadcaster. Oh, shit. Jagged news. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I, I played football. You feel me? No shit. Yeah, I played football. Did that for two years. Edited my stuff. We had Casablanca back then. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Big old decks and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they call that linear head. Back then, talk your shit, you know, and so from there, tapes, nigga. I went and I went to fam. Um, you know, one of my biggest inspirations, actually, for all of us, Greg Street, you know, what I'm saying, Shout and then, Greg Street, and, and go see that Greg Street interview, interview right now, like shit, it, it is, and then, uh, but Coco yeah, Brother had a different type of energy, Coco you feel me? And so, really like, Greg was cool, he was smooth, like water. But Coke, home team, you remember yeah, that? Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It just, team, he just baby. took it to a different level. Shout out to Shouty, Shouty. He was on there early. He was on yeah. the little show early. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, from there, I went down to FAM, got on the radio, and I was like, I got, I need an intern with Coke. You feel me? And so he was trying to connect with my dad. Right. Just on some spiritual. Is that when he was stuff. making this transition? Right before. It, well, the transition was in his heart. I said it like that. Okay. You know, and so I was. People don't know, Coco Brother was a radio person down in Atlanta. It was really huge, and then he. Left radio to go pursue ministry. Yeah, so, yeah. So Content. Context. I, I interviewed, I mean, I interviewed, interned with him down at Hot for like two years straight. Okay. You feel me? And it just really took my show to another level. Um, but see, I was playing everything. I was playing Get Low, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> on Project the Pat, every, no, no, I was on the campus station. Oh, okay. You feel okay. me down there? Like, I probably had the number one show, bro. Not for nothing. Like, I got on oh, freshman okay. year. Mm -hmm. The program director came to me when I went and said, hey, I'm going to submit an air check today. They was like, oh, we don't push freshmen up. We don't never have freshmen on. Mm -hmm. I said, got you. I gave that tape in. They hit me up December before we went on break. I'm mm -hmm. like, uh, yeah, we're going to give you uh, Fridays for the set. Mm -hmm. Wrong time. That's what right. everybody on the set. Everybody you know outside. outside. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. great. Turn me on. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, I love her for life. That's her name is Cap Cappuccino. She's a PD up in Philadelphia right now. And, um, you know, love her life, man. She pushed me from then on. You know what right. I'm saying? And um, oh, I just kept going, kept going. But the thing <laughs> is, when I hit the flip, is when I start thinking about, dang, I'm about to graduate. I can't go back home. That's Pop City. I can't go back home. Because I was DJing, jam pony stuff, you know, uh, run around, you know, DJ Dump, DJ Stunner. Stunner here now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Shout out um, DJ Dump, man. You Didn't know, we? all of that. And um, God just gave me, like, this new way to do it. And that's when me and my cousin came up with what we call the Good Life Radio mm -hmm. and a genre called Urban Inspiration which is what's happening now. So back then, I took a lot of criticism from a lot of gospel rappers. I'm gonna say their name now because we cool, but like The Truth, mm -hmm. Ambassador, you remember the Cross Movement? Uh, mm -hmm. Lecrae was running okay. with them, all of them. They was calling us heretic, man. They was calling us mm -hmm. them demon guys, them fake church guys, X, Y, and Z. I didn't care because I already knew what it was. Right. All I would do, I would take a song that was positive, mm -hmm. like, I don't know what's coming to here right now. Nas, I know I can't be what I want to be. It might come behind that with Kurt Franklin Stone. Both of them is positive. My thing was, y'all getting caught up in the messenger. Mm. Okay, I don't know how many <laughs> thoughts Nas got when he come back with Shawty, what's your price? I can't speak on that. Right. But what I say is, I can take this product and put that with that and reach them people. Yeah, you you feel me? And so, you know, went on with that. And then Coke started doing something similar when he hit you with the spirit of hip hop. Remember that was on mm -hmm. hot, mm -hmm. and uh, now you cut on the radio, and you got Kanye doing this, you got Baby talking about God, you know, everybody on it now. Right. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So uh, well, you know these police shoot niggas, so we want to get them. Stay prayed up. Get stay yeah. prayed up. <laughs> Never know. Get your soul <laughs> together, you know. No, but so I grew, I grew up in World Changes at the same time y'all was doing that, and it was shout like out to Jeremy Dollar, that's my brother. Yes, Jeremy, I did mm -hmm. his wedding. That's my brother. I shout out to Jeremy and uh, shout out to Quan, his ex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's my homie. Anyway, I introduced them in high I school and then they started dating and they went to uh, prom and all this other shit. And then I was like, they kids grown now. That shit's yeah, crazy to me. But, off, yeah. yeah, but uh, it just was um, growing up in that stuff. That's the only shit I hated that the church kids would be the baddest kids. It was bad. And it was like. <laughs> I, they was falling out on Sunday. I'm like, they faking hell, y'all. They crazy. Like, I, ain't gonna fall out. I got a chapter in there where I talk about the first time I ever went down. The, actually, the only time I ever went down. Mm. You feel me? My partner Rico, Rico Love, producer, right? Shout so we met. To Rico Love. We met at. Yo, we met because of Kyle. Kyle introduced us. We was at Fan together. Woo woo. And um, I just gotta tell the truth. Y'all ain't gonna read it no way. Uh, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. 
Yeah, go ahead. We can go ahead. We read. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I ain't gonna read it. I'm gonna hear it though. So what what happened? Um, um it, we had some service at the church, and you got growing up. You know, we see people go down all the time. You know what I'm saying? I remember when Pop had one service. Remember Ishman? At, at Cathedral Hall. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Marvin Sapp was singing, and yeah. like 5,000 men, and Pop laying hands on everybody. They just going like, boom, 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 boom. I knew it was real because I knew Pop wasn't capped. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'd have got hands, boom, and I don't never feel nothing. So, you know, Rico, one time my dad laid hands on Rico, and he went down. So I asked him at the church. I was like, bro, what did it feel like? He was like, you asking me? I thought you would know. Now, mind you, Rico, dad, and pastor too, but, you know, it's just different. Right. So, um, he was like, you know that feeling after you bust a nut? Oh, my God. Well, I'm, just that, I'm dead serious. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, like, like that, uh, that poker? Little, you know that tingle? Like, that, that little piece before she started talking again? That's hilarious. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. this is crazy. This is a clip. Hey. Look at this. <laughs> so, I'm sitting there like, wow. Right. Okay. <laughs> I got to go down. I got to go down. I got to go down. And he walk around the house trying to get hand later. Hey, Dan. You going in the front right here? You going right in the Hey, man. Hey, man. Oh, listen, dog. Hey, man. Hey, man. You ain't got to go down. Oh, God. Stop. Before you go to sleep, can you want to sink everything? I quit. Y'all got to stop, man. Hey, hey, what's the word? Blasphemy. Oh, boy. Boy, that's so crazy. I'm trying to see what that time is about. All right, so, bro, I'm not. Hey, bro, the dude tried to get that put me down, pause. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. And, bro, I was not going. You fighting it. He got a little upset, and then he got, like, the push. He was like, Go on down, I was like, hey, praise God. Hey, we can God. tell you real good, man. Go on down, I was like, praise God. So look, man, we don't, you know you don't have that much time. Congratulations so on the newborn Thank again. You. And Thank not you. to ruin any of your book. But was your father able to tell you what happened, or did you find out the news like the rest of us? So, and I had seen the clip. Yeah. Y'all hilarious. The, uh... <laughs> The Omega Ring clip. <laughs> <laughs> you know the dude Remo's talking about. I don't know. No, no. It was, it's, right. I found it. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> what do you mean? My ring has a cue on it. I found it. <laughs> Come on. With the horse Come on in this mine. bathroom and let me holler at you about this. That's for the Colts. My niggas watching their hand like, God. Somebody got to throw shit. He don't have a father, does he? Oh, God. So, wow. so you know, I want to really, really unpack that whole situation. To, to the best of, not, and not it really in, in, in this whole space. I, I really want to take the time because that whole situation with my dad, it led to a lot of hurt mm -hmm. for a lot of people right. on all sides. It led to hurt for people who knew, like, man, this is cap. It hit, led to hurt for people who looked at it and bought into it. Mm -hmm. You follow me? It, 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 I don't, I don't really think, I know that church has that. And I don't think the body of Christ at large has still recovered from that. Mm -hmm. You understand, when my dad passed, bro, we've had two, three, I'm wrong, three major funerals in that building. And the first one was Left Eye mm -hmm. when she passed. It was a major crowd, but it wasn't pack, pack, pack. Mama King, Coretta Scott King, mm -hmm. when she transitioned in 06, you know, you got four or five presidents in there. You know, it was four presidents at the time. It was truly five. Obama was there, but he was in the crowd. He was a senator there. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So that's the magnitude of that. I remember pulling up, like, dang, uh, Motorcade One, whatever you call that big Cadillac they ride in, is in my dad's garage. Like, mm -hmm. this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And then when Pop transitioned, mm -hmm. when my dad transitioned, bro, people was camped out the night before to get in. You feel me? That it was it was pandemonium. So that tells you that there were a lot of people who were who were quiet, silent, if you will, about what was going on, but loved this man mm -hmm. and wasn't wasn't with it. You feel me? Didn't believe X, Y, and Z. But when you go into your job, when you're around your friends, it's kind of hard to speak up and say how you feel. Mm -hmm. When people is joking, roasting, nobody want to be the. Everybody ain't me. 
thick right. skin. Right. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? A lot of people, it's like, it's polarizing. Don't really know what to do. A lot of pastors saw it as a chance to speak on it, to come up, mm-hmm. you know what I'm yeah. saying? Draw attention to themselves, mm-hmm. not really being what ministers should really be. Man, they you were know trying to pick off some doggone. Uh, trying to pick up members. You know, a lot of pastors members, in the boy. city. I ain't going to call it, no it church It was like a free for all for me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah y'all can the, come on over. I do it. Yeah, 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 not, yeah. not for nothing. That was the biggest church free agency. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was like a father <laughs> shirt. No, no. It, it was uh, what they call it now. Uh, <laughs> it was the, they, they the, the draft portal. portal. No, they, just, the portal. Yeah, it was the draft portal. The draft portal. The draft portal. You ain't got to pay your tithe this week. I just need money to do that. Free week of tithes. But what I do, what I do like about it, I'm saying. Pastor Dollar did instead. He said, "Don't come over here." If no, you, Dollar's you know, not my guy, man. He said, Dollar "Don't come over guy. here." Like, he said, "Go you, back, go that's, back that's over my there." Friend, that's friend. Actually, he's like, nah, "Go back. I don't go have nothing for there. you." All right. and, but that's yeah. somebody who was their own man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's somebody who was serious about what they're doing. And it came for him a couple times. He like, "Am mm-hmm. what's up?" Yeah, he went right. down for uh, uh, putting what you call it, shutting her straight. You're not. I'm gonna raise my daughter. What they tell? Oh yeah, George, his daughter. Yeah, you shut up. So. The thing about it, man, is that it's a very convoluted situation because people got to remember that Pop was probably the most influential, not just even pastor, he was probably the most influential African-descended male in the state of Georgia, if not the Southeast. Meaning Pop had influence in the political space, entertainment, all the mountains, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, real. And, and he was in that jail. He had influence on the weights, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That what did it. The mother shirts did it. Listen. They were like, he, he, he. <laughs> right. And so, so it, it's a lot of things Lord, that mercy. people forget about when you got pictures that's coming out on the news. You got this, you got that. And notice, the news never said, oh, he texted these pictures to such and such. Because right. that would be cap. Right. A lot of people forgot that he had made the news locally, that his office got broken two months before these lawsuits came out. Oh, and things got God. stolen. Mm. So as people was laughing about it, I was laughing at people. Right. Right. And it's a long journey. I think this, the quote says something like, he who laughs 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 best or something like that. Mm-hmm. When you can sit back and you, you, you know the optics of something and you seeing how the enemy moves, you start laughing when people stop answering your phone calls. It's like, dang, now I know who you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Praise sure. God. Sure. We straight now. Mm-hmm. Because the stuff on the table going to switch some point. Oh, and yeah. you're going to come back and be like, dang, my bro. My bad, bro. I didn't really know. Yeah, that's cool. If more pastors yeah, was like you, bro. I'll go up there. Listen. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Oh, we finna bro. launch now. We finna, I, I got to get to work, man. We got to get this, this ministry going. You know, I've been chilling for a minute, setting up family, doing this. Letting a lot of dust set. I had to go through my own healing. You well, this is the thing. The generation, we, we, uh, these kids don't trust the clergy no more. No. It's like, right. we see what y'all doing for real. Right. We see what, we see y'all, re- it's a lot of, a lot of them scam, a lot of them, mm-hmm. a lot of them falling out, doing all this stuff in public. Then they get in private and cuss people out and doing you all this stuff. A lot of preachers are doing ministry because they couldn't be successful in anything else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of cats, you know, it is a hustle for a lot. Now you got a lot Sound of guys like who, 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 who are yeah. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Sound the same way. Boy, you, got, you got a lot of people who are genuine. You know what I'm saying? Right. We talked about Dr. Dollar. You know, uh, I, I love Bishop Dale Bronner. You know, he. he Shout out to the Bronners, man. I mean, the sons. That they came out show this week that we can uptown. Like, oh, no, all sure. their sons. Love, yeah. Love it. But all you can tell good. when you see it. Yeah. You got pastors who's not trying to make headlines every week and not trying right, to do right, this right. and all these type of things who just genuinely. Love and just do God's work. A lot the of times I say, in his hand and putting it mm-hmm. on his homeboy face and in the kiddie pool. <laughs> but what? This nigga what? Here, what? Man. He's like, trust. What Somebody is don't that? come get Eddie Winslow. I forgot that like, preacher name. Yeah. Man, you done seen him before though. He's like Mike, Mike, Mike Todd or something like that. Was that was that Mike Todd? I don't know his name. It's all good. Yeah. But <laughs> during COVID, it was like the height <laughs> of COVID. I, I'm not uncomfortable. I just you know I always. Edify. If I can't edify, yeah, yeah, yeah. we comedians. That's my job. Do no, your yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally spit in hand and put it on the nigga's face. Oh, I said that ain't that, that ain't the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> I be goddamn. <laughs> 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 That's what I call that. You ain't spit and, on my and, face. And with that, TV. I think I think that he I think he's a very genuine person. Mm-hmm. I think that you know sometimes in alliteration we can have. Some some of us can have such a passion to reach people yeah. that we may go to just 
certain links. It's too far. When I put it in, when I put, I'm sorry, when I put it in congruency to all of his other videos, though, he's literally doing it for Instagram. He's not really doing it to reach the people that are sitting I, in the I, 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 I got you. Well, you, you, you got to cut through all. You got to cut through all that yeah. TikTok. Every noise. once in a while to go viral. You got to do something to cut up. Like, all right, bro. Like every yard. Right. Now you seem like you're trying to. You know, you get a good video and that y'all hitting. Hey, you trying to like get another video that's hitting just like that. You get robbed as a pastor. I'm not gonna ask. I was like, what did you think? Did you? Did you, did you see that rock? Oh, no, I don't want to move past this. I'm so sorry. Have you received therapy for the, I mean, because that has, that has to be a Great lot. question. Great Huge. question. That's a very compassionate question. Boy, you might be a preacher. Yeah. Hey, yo, Loki, I'll be thinking about it, man. Come on I over. Do. I, w- I, I would love to walk with you. No, no cap. I would love to walk with you. I do be thinking you. about it. Oh. I, I think I want to be a, 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 a street pastor, though, more so. I'm, a face we, face we, one to one. I know one thing about you. You would be committed until you get it down. Because I remember coming to Cat's Lounge mm-hmm. when you wasn't funny. Hilarious. You hear and you stuck with it. When, I, when my Carlos Miller was over there. Was like, I was up in there. Yeah, yeah. With the fireplace in the middle, you got to lean around and see what this cat up is. You feel what I'm saying? But, uh, hey, listen. Yeah, that was yeah. definitely somebody else, but I appreciate it. <laughs> hey. You know how to get that. That was great. Boy. Let me tell you something what I ain't never not been. <laughs> listen, but not for nothing. I, I would love to. If, 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 no, we, we, I, we're, we're strange. For sure. It's all good, but I love the question. I'm a certified relationship coach. I'm not a therapist, but I work with couples, all that stuff. I'm a licensed minister. Been through, uh, like I told you, got my master's. You know, we have to deal with uh, crisis management, you know, pastoral care, all these things. And one thing that we understand is every doctor need a doctor. Every pastor need a pastor. Every coach needs a coach. Everybody. And so I stay in some sort of coaching, counseling, mm-hmm. X, Y, and Z, because if not, like you said, man, you got to understand, bro. I'm sitting at, um, we, we, me and uh, young lady I was dating at the time, we over there off Glenwood. Y'all know Glenwood East. Vickery's is the name of the restaurant. Mm-hmm. And uh, sitting at the bar, and that's when I see everything on the news. Oh. And regardless of what folks say about John Gray, John was living in one bedroom condo right above me. I don't know how he knew I was there. Maybe she caught. I don't. I have no idea. Mm-hmm. I just know. Right as I see this on the news, I'm seeing like, whoa. I know these guys. This what? Mm. I'm starting to black out. Yeah, hell yeah. And John came in and sat next to me, and he was like, "How you feeling?" I said, "Um, I'm just gonna go and make a ride real quick, man." And he picked up on what I was saying. I had a Springfield Armory XD9. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That was my first gun. I was in the truck. Had a Denali. I said, I'm just going to go for a ride. I'm not trying to be no gangster. I'm not trying to be nothing else. I'm just like, that's the, that's the only thing I could think, bro. And John grabbed me. He sat me. He said, you're not going nowhere. He said, we're going to sit right here, and we're going to get through this. Mm-hmm. And I love him for life because I've probably been on Rice Street. Hell yeah. Or the Hilton on Memorial Drive. You feel what I'm saying? But it took a friend <clears throat> to say, bro, this is it. If I got a strong arm, it don't matter. You know right. what I'm saying? But I'm not going to let you. John Gray a big boy. That's it. Yes, it. He, he was bigger than he you. Go <laughs> I, tell he people this. I tell people this all the time. He has some don't, there don't, there. don't make a decision. Everybody from viewing, y'all can put this out, whatever. Never make a decision. When you're hungry, mm-hmm. hysterical, or horny. Mm. Yep. Them three things. Three and at that moment, I probably was horny. Y'all don't get me. <laughs> Clearly hungry. I was sitting there trying to get something to eat. Right. And I just became hysterical. Jeez, all wow, you finna add that bitch out, were you? You feel me? They were like, B, he coming. He got a gun in the car. <laughs> like, oh my God. He pulled up. <laughs> Immediate reaction is like, yo. Damn, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you Man. did it. Yeah. So I'm in a much better. Writing this book was was still probably the most therapeutic thing. Q Parker, 112, my boy. Q, Q, Q told me to do something. Um, they was they was doing it. Well, they still do it. Brothers United, be you. They, they do a little meetup once a month on Tuesdays. And we was meeting at more house. And he pulled me to the side. He said, "Man, I think you need to write a letter to your dad." Mm. So this other pastor friend of mine, he called me out the blue. And God just be lining stuff up, man. He called me. Said, "Look, man. He said I don't have much to offer you, uh, Pastor Jeremy Upton." Down in Homestead, Florida. He said, but if you come down here, me and my wife, we got you. We'll put you up in a hotel. 
you know, down in Key West. They did. I, he put me in the Rook Hotel for like three days. And I remember sitting at, at, at the <coughs> dinner table by myself, bro, and I just started writing. I just, I'm going to just do it now. But I ain't get out like one and a half sentences. Mm -hmm. I started boo-hooing, bro. Shit, yeah. Man. Sheesh. Boo-hooing. You feel me? And so from that, I just kind of sat back and started writing a book then. You feel me? And, um, you know, it's 14 stories in there about my dad. There's some stories in there. You might look at my dad sideways. Other, you might look at me crazy. Others was like, dang, you know. I want people to really, like the joke, who, who don't have a dad. <laughs> for, for anybody who don't, don't have a dad. in real life. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, like the joke. <laughs> Pam Joe. Ain't important. Like the joke. You remember that time yeah, you had a dad. That's how I said it. <laughs> we ain't on that. <laughs> they probably the pool go. I bet he gonna go all the way to Atlanta with us. Ain't it? Trauma confession. That's funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah y'all both. But, yeah. but I'm glad you said that because you know, you know, father and son. That's a no, that's a man. that's your first hero. You know that's what I'm saying? It. Like that that they took down your first hero. You like what the nigga? I'm finna kill somebody. Like this shit crazy. Yeah. But just speaking of that, rest in peace, Brandon Smiley, man. Ricky Smiley oh, lost his yes, oldest right. son this week, man. I don't know what happened, but I just remember that was one of my first writing jobs, writing for Brandon when he was like. 12, 11, he was doing comedy back then, and mm -hmm. Ricky was like, go up there with Brandon, and he was funny, he was a funny kid, and um, as he got older, he started, he got back into it, you know okay. what I'm saying, but rest in peace to him, yeah. praying for their whole family, man, that's, this is a that's tough sad. time in his life, man, because Ricky shares everything, he's on yeah. social media, but I just hope he takes some time out and kind of, you know, just, you, you close with them still? Uh, Ricky, if I can talk to, you know, he don't like to talk on the phone. Ricky, one of them, if I see him, I probably can pull up on him, but I, I got his number, I can hit him, but. Please, him. tell him I want to link up with him. You I, know? I would, but I, I think the world is hitting him. I mean, it ain't like, it ain't, it ain't now, now, but I, I okay. want to be there for him right now. Yeah, And, you sure. know what I'm saying, that's what that, so, all right, so my dad mentored Ricky. Really? Yeah, we brought him to the church, he, he did comedy, uh, there a couple of times, that of that. so, uh, Ricky was one of the first people to play one of my records, like, you know, he had a syndicated show. Right. I mean, of course, now, but back then, this is like yeah. 2008, 2009. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a record, man. He he uh, he just loved the joint. He played it a couple times on the show. So, you know, Pop and I, we went on the show, all that stuff. But long story short, when the lawsuits came out, him and my dad were very close. Mm -hmm. And so when the lawsuits came out, man, like that whole week, man, they was joning the hell out of Pop. You feel me? <laughs> right. I mean, I had to hit the show producer. Um, Like, what's up? <laughs> oh, these just jokes. I'm like, these not just jokes. These is like, I'm getting provoked. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Getting triggered. So my point is that with the counseling, I couldn't stand nobody. You feel me? Because I'm seeing everybody switch up. Mm -hmm. right, right. And so I had to learn how to forgive people. There's a question a pastor once asked. And I, I, I do this all the time. People ask, if you never get the apology that you think you deserve, can you still forgive? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because forgiveness ain't about the other person. Yeah. Forgiveness is about us and whatever we holding on to, letting that go. Right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's that's what that's about. Forgiveness. Continue in a relationship with that person. That's about them. Then, if you want to still fool with them, but the forgiveness is on us. Mm -hmm. And I had to learn how to forgive people, man. Regard, not even trying to justify nothing. Just forgive. I had to forgive Ricky. And what's funny <coughs> is like now I'm seeing how much people miss my dad. That's what I'm right. talking about, how, how, how packed his home going was. Man, it's, it's not a day to go by that somebody don't DM me, text me, call me. Big people, the regular folk, if you will. Mm -hmm. I miss your dad. With everything going on right now with these killings, with this, your dad is the only person that could bring people together. Right. You know, yeah, we got this preacher, we got that person, but your dad is the only person mm -hmm. right. that was able to do things across the aisle. You know what I'm saying? Folks really missing him. And I'm on, I'm on, um, YouTube and Ricky Smiley pop up. This like back in October. Mm -hmm. And he was like just telling a story. He was like, Man, I just want to tell y'all the story, man, about a lesson Bishop Long taught me. Mm -hmm. So I tapped in, I watched the whole nine minute video. Just about how he said how Pop was just always giving. He was just such a giver. And how he watched my dad just give and learn how to give and bless people. And some dude asked him for something coming off the stage and he gave him his jacket and all this stuff. But my point is I'm seeing stuff start to shift. And that's a part of why I'm, I'm out here having conversations. I'm, I'm not trying to vindicate my dad. I'm not trying to, you know, you know, if, if them guys felt like something happened or whatever, I never saw nothing, so I can't speak right. on that. What I can speak on, though, to solve one thing real quick, 
is this. Want y'all to hear this? Can y'all? Let me put the fuck the mic. Oh, yeah. We can, we can, we can hear that. Yeah. That'd be good. Because, you know, I, a lot of folks, you know, say, uh, But you know the thing, well, yeah, man. He was afterward to post it. Okay. Yeah, you said he, he, he was he was smashing them and beating them out and all of that kind of stuff. You know, all all the you know y'all you know the jokes y'all was saying. <laughs> <laughs> but it's two million views on this interview on YouTube. So a lot of people seen it. That's the people that was quiet. Last laugh, last right, longest. That's how it go. You feel well, me? I was trying to think of that shit when you said it earlier. I was like, that ain't how it go, but it's something like that. He yeah. last laugh, last longest. It was like Ray Lewis when he did that quote for the final. Yeah. <laughs> but, but speaking of Ray Lewis, but it's like in sports. So like, even if, um, like, say you're not here to vindicate or whatever, but that's how it goes. Like the first story is the biggest story and it runs the longest. So if somebody in sports gets in trouble, like say they're accused of rape or some shit right. like that, and, and that's it's a huge story. It runs all week. It comes out for it not to be true. It's not gonna be another story. That shit gonna run at the bottom of the line. Yeah, it's on the true. last Why page of the newspaper, they're gonna mm -hmm. be like, "Yeah, by the way, you're right. <laughs> unless you're Roethlisberger, you're a soccer player." We was wrong. Football. We made a lot of money off the story, but yeah, they yeah. Uh, just uh, and they buried that Ben Roethlisberger. He raped bitch every week. They ain't never say that. Was fucking he was in Millageville, Georgia. Georgia. You're a horrible nigga. Pulling out on these guns. In Millageville. Uh, <laughs> you catch a trade out of jail. Yeah. Bar bathroom. Yeah. He gets from the crazy house. He's from the crazy house. How you feel about how you feel about Pastor Jamal Bryant right now? I think he's killing it. As I don't know, because that's your that's your home church. So I don't know. What that looks like to you, but I, when he invited all the people to smoke weed, I was like, "See, that's what we need." <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta take your, you gotta take advantage of the of, of your economic uh, um, fortunes, and he's mm -hmm. fortunate enough to have enough land to actually, you know, man, mm -hmm. Newberg got so much yeah. land. Bro. But also, it's definitely. hard to grow. It's hard to grow weed in um, this with y'all. Y'all got in red Georgia, clay. Yeah, red, red, red clay. clay yeah, it's hard to grow weed. You gotta do so, it. You know. Yeah. You know. I don't think um, nobody told Pastor Brian that. Man, <laughs> Clay making that nigga finna make Boy, so he... much money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to pack. veterans. <laughs> that new bird pack gonna be strong as the one. We got some clay in it. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, great question. How do I feel about him? Um, I really wish the relationship was way better. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, he's one that made a lot of negative comments about my dad. The day after my dad's home going, he put up a video on YouTube saying, now that Bishop Long is transitioned, I think it's time we vindicate his victims. And my dad and him had some exchange while my father was living about some comments that he had shared. You know, my dad let him know, like, I'm not feeling what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like, dang, boy, you wait till the transition to then tell us how you really feel. And um, like I talked about forgiveness, you know, he and I have met when he first came he apologized to me. I had to dig real deep. But I dug in that Georgia clay, like you said, mm -hmm. to forgive. Because again, it's not about him, it's about me. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, at that point, like you said, that's that's my home church. That's the church I know. You okay. feel me? And, um, you know, really trying to position myself to be there, have a role as I was promised. Mm -hmm. You follow me? A lot of people uh, thought I was tripping on not being the pastor. I wasn't tripping. I, I, I was hopeful for that. That would have been proper mm -hmm. from a bloodline thing and a whole bunch of other church kingdom terms, if you will. But at least to have a space. And I was promised a space, a role. Yeah, mm -hmm. And works. then for it not to materialize. Um, hey, you can be an usher. Like, what? Nah, nah, <laughs> not for nothing. I got a letter saying that. I'm saying I'm welcome to attend service there. And it's like, dang, bro, I've been the youth sir. pastor here. I've been this here. I've been that here. Yeah. Bro, these two buildings that y'all got, I built them. Right. My dad was a visionary, but I spent two summers running forklifts and all kind of stuff, literally building the building. Damn, so you it's like somebody me? with your ex just going crazy, yeah, man, traveling and stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We now, After you bought her the new body, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. After, she she after the BBS. Yeah. yeah. And she fresh every day. Yeah. You yeah. like, what? <laughs> Gucci so, cardigan, uh, ready now on her college body. Like he so, gets so, to get the whole new bag. So from there, <laughs> you know, 
A lot of things have transpired. I, I don't talk about it unless I'm asked. You feel me? It's in a book? Uh, no, it's no. Oh. I, I don't because I'm. You know, nobody asked me to write the book. This is me. So I don't. I'm not one to really introduce, but I am one to bring a resolve to questions because that means there's a desire to know something. All right. Um, you know where I stand with it now. I've done everything I can to stay connected to the ministry, and I don't get returned phone calls. I don't get returned texts. I don't get returned emails. Things of that nature. Um, most recently, there was a post that I put up, and there was some commentary going on in the post, and he ended up leaving a comment on the post. And he's commented on other posts in the past, but I don't get responses via text, via mm -hmm. my phone calls, via emails. And so for me, that's ongoing trauma because it's like, bro, you commenting on the post but we're not talking in private, but there's this public display like it's cool. Mm -hmm. And so I did, I responded in the comments. I said, hey, first of all, Happy New Year. I hope you're doing well. That's how I really feel. Mm -hmm. I said, I noticed that from time to time you may comment on my post, but you don't respond to my direct communication. So my goal, I would love to see us have a private relationship like what's being projected in the public. So until then, please don't comment on any of my stuff until we talk. And I was hoping that that would open up the door. I, I can't be no more inviting. Yeah. You feel me? Than that. It was sassy a little bit, you know but saying? other than that, <laughs> I mean, you feel I, me? It was, but you know what I'm saying? Two you talk, steps in the top. Stop, stop, stop the cap. Stop the cap. That's what I'm saying. Like, with, with, with an ego yeah. as well. Yeah. So they're probably not going to receive it the way that you actually give it. Yeah, his, 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 his response an hour later was laugh out loud. You see what I'm saying? See, no, he, he, didn't, he didn't. He didn't. He just, he just was going off you. He didn't really read what that said. You understand what I'm saying? He was like, oh, this. I'm just going off of this ad long. He responding to me. Right. As opposed to, oh, he really wants me to talk back to him. But like, oh, nah, he's going to call me out and say I ain't answering his text message. That's probably what he ended up seeing on there. He'll like, call he me fake. Him out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like this. Be fake to move. People don't like that shit. Be fake My thing is this. This is where I sit today. Whatever today. Fake Christians hate to be called fake Christians. We, we, we almost at the end of January. This is where I stand Not today. Yet. I celebrate the impactful works that the church has done. Feeding uh, a million people or, you know, clothing drives, shoe drives, reminiscent of many things that we have done, you know, I mean, pop set the bar. We used to give out cars. I mean, we, I mean, it's just, <laughs> church, like, you know, get Oprah. yeah, that's, <laughs> that's why these type of things have to be. You know, known World Changes in Newburgh was like, boom, boom, boom. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was parallel. Yeah. It was like, that, and then we came together. Yeah, they come over, y'all come, come over there, you go over there. It was, it was a, it was a mutual cousin type of thing, you know? So where I but sit, I don't think you have to be in that building to do nothing. No, no, no. That's why we we. That's but, a building. But here's my thing. Here's my thing. When Rob was talking about the community, mm -hmm. there was a community that we had that's been broken up. Yeah. Because there are a lot of people who won't go there because oh they don't see me there, or you know they just don't receive him. They know things about him or just whatever. And so you know the community that we built is not there anymore. Right. The pastors that my father covered, they don't go. They don't feel connected. This that so so when you when you start moving the glue, stripping the glue off, you feel me? Right. Then you breaking up what you didn't even build. You feel what I'm saying? And so amidst all of that, where I sit at today is if bro called me right now, I'll be looking forward to a great conversation and looking forward to doing something together. That's where I'm at. And for the amount of people who know that there's some dissension or something ain't right, imagine how much good that would do for people to mm -hmm. see people go from being like this to being like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. If that ain't if that ain't God, right. then I don't know what else is, bro. Come on, I'm sorry, yeah, that's dope. Son of a bishop. I make sure y'all go get it. That audio book as well. I'm going to tell you, you also, got a lot of resolve, my brother. Yeah, you know yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you coming through. Yeah, I like sure, your honesty, sure. man. Yeah, not for sure. That, that's Thank the main thing, too. Yeah, no, no doubt. No so, doubt. Yeah, All right, dog. Hey, so uh, real quick. I'm going to call um, you for real. I got some shit going on. Here. <laughs> I got you. We, we about to wrap up. Uh, so tell them about, real quick, the trip that you're doing, uh, that you're taking people to Israel. Oh, man, Israel, yeah. Jesus in Jerusalem. Listen, uh, I don't know which camp we on, but uh, everybody's invited. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping the whole city, the whole state, the whole country would. You know, pull up at Hartsfield with us. Uh, 
July 9th through the 19th. Just, you know, Israel, man. Ten days the whole day. Israel. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I mean, we on the heels of Kanye losing a billion dollars over speaking about Jew and more and this. You know, we on the heels of Kyrie sitting out a whole month, you know, which means there must be something powerful there. You follow what I'm saying? There is so much. And I, I, I'm not trying to make nobody's mind up. I think one of the biggest tools for change is exposure. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? You know, we were growing up, we had friends that had never left life on you. Never been downtown in Atlanta. Yeah. And just that one move changed the cat whole perspective. You start breaking in cars, and you like, bro, I, I, there's somewhere else I can go. You know what I'm saying? Go downtown. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 You're on Peter Street. There's so <laughs> many cars on Peter Street. So many cars. You got Falcons game. You got Falcons <laughs> So, you know, just going over there, uh, it'll be my third time going. Okay. Uh, my first time going was with my dad, of course, in 08. Okay. I went again 10 years later in 2018 mm -hmm. uh, when I went then, you know, being one of the leaders of the trip mm -hmm. and now having our own build out. So, you know, it's all on uh, my Instagram. If you go to my Instagram, uh, at Ed Long Jr., E D L O N G J N R. And um, it's just post, click the link, link tree in my bio, what have you, registered. It's $3,900. Okay. That's flight, it's two meals a day, it's all your rooms, it's all your tours. Oh, we gonna get 10 days? Yeah, man. Come on, bro. Man. 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 Listen, that's less than the BBL going yeah. down yeah. to Columbia. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If she got a $3,900 BBL, that'd be a lot of sad. That's less than most trips to places right now. And you come back transformed. You know, your body might not be, but your mind will be. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to get a BBL before that. Yeah. <laughs> you go to BBL, nigga. Once <laughs> <laughs> again, man. Pre hey, 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 also, let him know. Oh, you said, uh, say your, your IG and all that again. Once again, uh, Instagram, Twitter, at Ed Long Jr., E D L O N G J N R. All right? There it is, man. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed, man. Uh, culture comments. Yes, uh, sir. Since you do watch the show, you probably know that we uh, you know, get comments from our culture, Reekins on our YouTube, they like to roast us. So <laughs> this one is from us. Dosh Lindmier. I'm probably saying that incorrectly, but this is funny. She says, Remo looks like the god studs worship. Uh, <laughs> you like a stud deity? Uh, Hilarious! Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> a stud statue! Yeah, you gonna say the worship on this one. See, oh, you know what? Serious. See what you're doing. Yeah, that was good. Oh, oh, that was good. Perfect. I had a couple of That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Yeah, Dosh, Dosh and Lim, 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 you know you are. <laughs> Man, that's <laughs> funny as hell. That's the Dang, that's funny, boy. They got that one off. I love it. <laughs> I love Is it, it that time, brother? Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> I just seen oh, yeah. the comment. You said that's funny as hell. I'll say that next week. Word. Um, yeah, we like to end the show with a segment we call Secret Journeys Life Coach, where I give the people some words of wisdom, get through the week, get to the next episode. I'll come on, Secret Journeys, the words of the week are this. Not really advice at all. It's just I'm about to just say some shit that I feel. <laughs> hey, mm -hmm. I'll do it. Damn, I forgot about that. Yes. Who is this dude, man? Where did they find this guy, man? This dude I think he started up. off a career as a a <laughs> subpar sports analyst. Subpar. With the worst takes ever. And now is a pundit on Fox News anytime they need somebody to, to say some coon shit. Right. I'm sick of this man, dude. Yeah. Damn. Fuck people. Yeah. I, I live with yeah. Stub your toe four times a day for the rest of your life. Well, what, let's do that. <laughs> we hope all black barbers never cut your hair. You get razor bumps and keloids. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I hope you meet a white girl that you really, really like, and you take her back to your place, and she lets seven niggas in the house to rob the shit out of her. What you hope, Remo? I hope you get some jeans that will cheat me around on you. That will cheat me around on you. Just right. And then when you went to the club. As soon as you zip up your Johnson, you get caught in your zipper. <laughs> Yo, nah, I yeah, I forgot about that nigga. 
I hope you're in a room full of crackers and y'all making decisions and your phone rings and the ringtone is my posse's on Broadway. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it makes it like, I don't know. How's that gonna hurt? <laughs> they gonna be like, he is a nigga. He's <laughs> a nigga, get him out of here. I don't know that, I normally have tenders with him. Bitch ass nigga. Yeah, leave his name out, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, Rest in peace, Tyree Nichols, man. Jesus. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Did you see the dude? Never mind. Yeah, more than coaches, the brand. It's the more than coaches <laughs> show. Trigger. All the secret genius, Remo Rob, <sighs> Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan, special guest, Yay. Ed Long Jr. Ed Love. Long said, "What's up, Jamal? Do something. What's, What's up? up? Pull up. What's up? We got the weed too, nigga. Do something. Do 